Hello and welcome back, it's Puzzle Time with Sudoku Sleuth and today we're going to be playing Lake Tahoe Ski Resort. Now it's roughly actually very close to 20 years ago when I was actually skiing in Lake Tahoe. Um, a bunch of us basically, we were just completing like a training program, we were in uh, the US at the time and we decided to sort of spend an extra week and essentially go down to Lake Tahoe for a bit of skiing. Um, so, fond memories for sure, uh, younger, carefree times, and I guess not too dissimilar in terms of from what the setting you see here in this particular thumbnail. You don't exactly see like a blue lake at the bottom, that's not how it works because you know it's frozen over, it's a ski resort. Uh, if you do come there in the summer, which admittedly I didn't, then yes, it would be a blue lake at the bottom, maybe that's towards the end of the season, who knows. Uh, now we're playing a willpower puzzle. And I've been trying to figure out whether this is like a map of the resort. Because I don't think really it looks like a map of the location. The, the lake is a bit more kind of longer, but it could be just the limitations of a 9 by 9 Sudoku puzzle. If you do know in the comment, please let me know. I am genuinely curious. And with that said, let me bring up this particular, we'll call it map, until proven otherwise. And uh, the Lake Tahoe Ski Resort from Will Power. So... Only two rules. First one, normal Sudoku rules apply, place the digits one to nine once each in every row, in every column, and then in every three by three box. Then we have the arrow sum rules. So numbers and arrows sum to the number in the arrows circle, and numbers may repeat on arrows if other rules are allowed. So for example, if this cell is a one and a two, these two cells are now adding up in a three on this arrow, which belongs to this circle. Fairly straightforward. Um, I think that is literally all there is to it. Um, as always, if you want to play along, link will be in the description down below for you to do so. And with that said, I'm going to restart the clock and see how I get on. And I am actually going to focus on this one. Because you can see that all the arrows are essentially almost like feeding one another. So if I go with the absolute minimum in every single one of these, so that'd be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So it has to be minimum, uh, because obviously that's a single digit, and therefore it has to be a maximum of nine. So that is a one, that is a two, that is a one, that is a three, four, one, five, one, six, one, seven, one, eight, one, nine, and we clearly have our break in. Two in here can't be a one. Let's try the next minimum, so it's a two, four, one, five. Can't be one or two, it would have to be a three with an eight. So fairly sure this has to be an eight. Obviously it doesn't have to be increasing in that order. Um, Let me think about this. Because essentially the one, two, three is like somewhat guaranteed. But I, can, I can't do three here because that would be three and four, which would be seven and I can't do seven and I can't do one in here either. So I think the answer to this is this is fixed. If I go any bigger in here, like let's say three, that would be five. Minimum would get me to six. Minimum would get me back to nine and that would break. So I think that is forced again. There you go. Have we got any more of these? Uh, maybe two, three in here, that would be a five plus a two. Interesting, that is a bit too big. Sorry, a bit too small. So essentially, if I go 2, 3, because it can't be a 1, that would be 5. That can't be a 1 either. So um, that would be 2 and 5, that would be 7, which would break. So regardless, even if I minimize this, um, I get only a 7, so this is 8 or 9. I think if I try 4, this is just not going to work. No, it could. I could do two, three, four, and that would be five, that would be nine. That works. So four works, up, but it's the maximum with the two being the minimum. But I don't have to have two and three in here. I could go with two and four, for example, then a six, then a two, then an eight. So this one is not as forced. We could probably finish all the ones. Let me just have a look. That's a one. Uh, that was all the ones. Fair enough. Twos. One of these is a two. This cell is at least a three. This cell is at least a two. 
but obviously it can't add up to five. I've already placed it. So this is six or seven. And seven has to be one of these two cells. Uh, suddenly starting to look a bit less elegant. How about the three can't be in here? That is a three. That's a bit better. Now this is already one, two, three, four. This is at least a five, at least a two, and a maximum of seven. So that's forced now. Five, two, seven. All forced. This is four, six. That four gives me four, six. Makes this a two, which makes this not a five. Um, otherwise, again, we'll end up with seven. So this is six or seven, and it can't be seven. So that is six and two to get me eight. To get in here, I can't do one five. It would have to be two, four, and the four in here is forcing an order. Excellent. We're kind of running out of arrows at the moment. These cells can't be two, three. I mean, one is gone, so two, three is the minimum, but five and six are not available. So this is seven or nine, clearly not a zero. Three cells in here, meaning that this is at least a six. Can I do six? I can. So I can't do eight, but I can do six, seven, or nine. Okay, getting rapidly less exciting with the arrows. Maybe a bit of Sudoku to actually just tidy us up. Let's have a think. So five and six are not here. Five and six have to be there. That is not a six. That's the five. That's the six. These now have to be three and nine. Not resolved. That's fine. In the column. So two, three is the minimum to place a five, which doesn't work. Five and six doesn't work. Eight doesn't work. So this is seven or nine. And then I need two cells that will add up to seven or nine. If it is seven, it's not one, six. It's not two, five. It could be four, three. Now, if it's nine, it's not one eight. It's, uh, it can be two seven, can't it? Two was seven in here. Can't be three six. And it could be four five, five and four. Okay. Quite a, in fact, four is forced. This has to be a four. And therefore, this is not two, since it needs to add up to seven or nine. What have we got in here? We still need a two down there. And then one of three, five, seven, nine. So not brilliant. Just having a think about this one. Three and seven would make a nine. Five would make a nine and three. So nine is always gone. So it's either five, nine, three, and three is always gone. So down here, hang on. I meant to say three. Is always gone because it'll be three seven nine so my options are three seven nine or my other option which is five nine three so three and nine is always gone the option one optional one is the five and seven so two five seven is basically the minimal set of pencil marks there this is also starting to look a bit restricted because it can't be two, three with a five in there. It can't be a six. It can't be a seven. This is eight or nine. And we need two cells that add up to them. Right. One is not available. Two is. In fact, two is forced because two is nowhere else. So that's two. This would have to be six or seven to allow me to get to eight or nine. Yeah, that's fine. Three, no, I mean, I can't see anything being forced at the moment. Maybe a bit more Sudoku would just help. So I should do a bit more Sudoku. How about this seven, nine? I say I should do a bit more Sudoku and then immediately ignore it. Let me just think about this one. So it's not one, six, it's not two, five. If this is seven, it's not one, six, it's not two, five. It could be three, four, four here, three there. That's one option. Now, if it's nine, it's not one, eight. Could be two seven. Can't be three six and it can't be four five. So the seven is always forced. Because it's either two seven nine or it's four three seven. That can never be a seven. And there's always a seven in here. Right. Uh let's take a look at this one and then I will genuinely do a bit more Sudoku just to help me along. Now, if this is one, two, three. That would be two, that would be three. If this is nine, 
So 126, not an option. 135, the 3 can't be there. That would have to be the 3. That would have to be the 5. Then, of course, there's the last option, which is 234, but I've already placed a 1. So this is always a 3. Interesting. That means that it's always a 3 in here. Column 4 is interesting now. We've got an 8, 9, and something else. 6. Can this be 6? I think the answer is yes, 2 and 4. Right. I did say I will do some Sudoku. Let's just focus on that. Such as 6 is. That is 4. That is 6. That is 2. That is not the 2. That is a 2. No 1 or 2 in here means that can't be a 6. That is the 6. This is now 8 or 9. But notice, without 1, 2 or 3, I can't get to 8. So this is 5 and 4 and 9. Excellent. That means that this is 8. Therefore, this is 6. Uh, does it actually help me resolve these, does it? So I have a 3, 5, a 7, 9. The 2 in here, though, is probably the more helpful. So that has to be 4. To get to 9, it's impossible now. That's 3, that's 7. 9 has to be up here, which can only be there. That is now a 5, I'm going to say. And then I need two cells, 7 and 3. 3 is here, 7 is there, and this is a 4. Lovely. Then I need a 2. Well, still a couple of places for it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I need 8 and 9. Interesting. More than a couple of places for these. Hang on, that cut me a 2. This is 8, 9. This is 8, 9. That's a bit better. This is the only place for a 2. This is 7 or 9 now. Let's complete the row. And therefore, this is the 3 or 5. It's not a 5, it's a 3. Therefore, that's a 5. Therefore, that's a 9. That has to be a 3 now, I think. Yeah, because we placed a 9. 9, 7. And then down here, it has to be 7. Lovely. These two cells, they are... Well, I've got two. I need 5 and 8. Uh, not resolved at the moment. In here, I need 8, 9, and 7. Interestingly, not resolved. 8, 9, and 6, also not resolved. The only thing we know is the 8 is not there. The 8 is here, and then 8 is in one of two places. Not brilliant. 8, 9, and 7 in here, again, not brilliant. Hang on, what's... I must be missing something. 4s we probably haven't thought about for a while. That's a 4. Is that helping me? Maybe. The rest of this is 6, 7, and 9. Not 6 or 7, that's 9. Therefore, this is 6, this is 7. These are 8 9s and not resolved. These are 6, 7 and surely are resolved. Yes, 6. 7, 6, not 7, 7. This is 5 or 8 and not resolved. This is again 5 or 8 is resolved. That's 8. So that means 5, 5. 8, 5, and therefore 8, 9, 8, 9, 8, 9. Pretty straightforward puzzle. Uh, I think it's exactly what's needed for a Monday morning. And uh, do let me know in the comments, um, what is this a reference of? I mean, I know it's Lake Tahoe, but is it, it doesn't look like the map or a resort of it. So genuinely curious. It could be, I guess, one of the slopes. Hope you guys enjoyed the puzzle in the video, and I'll see you back soon. Bye-bye for now.